Coach McQueen with Mile Source. I'm here with Rob at Rob Fit. We're going to use the Mile Source suspension trainer. We're going to work your chest today. We're going to do a superset with flies and push ups. We're going to go interval. He's going to go interval. We're going to go about 30 seconds. Now, I want you to go at a good speed. I, don't, I want to isolate, but I don't want to go too slow. Let's get a good pace going. So we're going to start off here with uh, with the push-ups, and then we're going to go into a fly and superset. So go ahead. We're going 20 seconds. Good. Now, you can see he's coming to that L position. He's not going. He really wants to isolate his chest. So that's a good spot where he's staying in the resistance and doing that push-up. If you want to, you can take your feet out a little bit farther. The, the farther your feet go away from the midline, it's going to be harder. As you get tired, as you're fatigued, or you're just starting out, come back up and make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, now we're going to walk up and we're going to go right into that fly. Again, watching that L position here, bringing those arms back to that L spot. We don't need to go way back. We're trying to hit the chest. We want to stay in the resistance. You see that these straps are always tense. So he's, he's keep staying in the resistance. He's getting good work. He's not coming back and he's not, we're not trying to work the shoulder here. You're going to get some benefit, but we're not trying to isolate that. We want to isolate that chest. And three, Ooh. two, one. All right, nice job. Yes, we recommend maybe three to four sets. We're going to do two here for a demonstration. Take about a 30, 35 second break. We want you to get get ready for that second, third, and fourth set, but we don't want to take too much time off. We really want to get a good pump. So he's stretching it out right now. Keep yourself loose. And then we're going to get right back into it. We got about five seconds here. So he's going to get ready. Uh, you can work on different grips. You know, work the lower chest, mid or upper chest, whatever works for you. And you can rotate. You ready to go, buddy? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Good. Right now he's at about he's at about midway with his feet. He's getting good resistance. Maybe if you start out with your feet way back or wherever you're comfortable on that first set, the second set, then you can sort of bring it in as you get to that third and fourth set. This time we're doing intervals. It's really, you know, you can work sets, you can work reps. So you can go 10 reps, 15 reps, or you can do interval training, 15, 20, 30 seconds, or you can go to failure. If you really want to build real strength, strength, then try that going to failure. Three, two, one. All right, nice job. He's going to go right into that fly. Good job. He's at about mid-range here. Got those feet. Again, he could come up a little bit or he could go back and he can make his adjustments for the level of resistance that he wants. The straps are staying, staying tight. If you kind of jerk and you move around, and you, then you're not staying in the resistance. You want to isolate and fire those muscles the entire time that you're doing it. Nice job. Again, let's go four sets. This is a great, easy way to get a workout. You can use this in the gym, you can use it at home. We've got a door stop that you can use it in your home or your apartment. All right, nice job, good job, okay. Thanks a lot, Rob. Thanks, nice job, how'd that feel? That was good, when you're feeling out of your upper chest, switching your grip and adjusting, you're feeling your lower chest, your triceps get that work, your shoulders are getting a little bit of work, and best part about the suspension, I love that work on the core. So, uh, it is a, it is a core deluxe. You wanna get right. that six pack?